Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how I made this cute little polar playtime uh, Christmas card. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start by using the Avery L die set. This is called the burst die set. And we want that burst frame and that largest circle as well. We're going to go ahead and place this on some raspberry cardstock from Lawn Fawn, and this is a 100 pound weight cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut the frame, but I do want to center that circle right in the middle there. I'm just lining it up all the way around, and then I'm going to tape it down with a little bit of purple tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and run these through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. And if you put it on a little bit of an angle there, it'll make it a lot easier to run through your machine. So now we have that beautiful burst frame and that extra circle from the center we can just set aside for another project. But we do need two more circles. We're going to die cut one from the Lawn Fawn Pixie Dust cardstock, which is a beautiful sparkle cardstock, and the other one from the Mermaid cardstock, again, a 100 pound weight. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut these two circles. And that one there is going to be for the base and the sparkly one is going to be for the snow. So now I'm going to take my EK Success anti-static powder tool and I'm just going to add that all over the front of this because we are going to be doing some embossing. So we're going to be using the Ranger embossing powder. This is a super fine detail white. And I'm using my Versamark watermark ink pad. And I've grabbed the snowflakes from this Avery L set. We're going to be using the little tobogganers, the ornament, the bring on the Mary, and those three snowflakes. And this is called Polar Playtime, again from Avery L. So I've gone ahead and mounted the three little snowflakes on an acrylic block. I'm inking them up with the Versamark ink. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp these all around this circle. And this is going to be the sky for our scene. Now once I've stamped all of those, I'm going to go ahead and emboss those. Again, I'm using a fine detail white embossing powder. And then I'm going to tap off the excess. And I'm going to heat set that with my heat tool. So that will give us these beautiful embossed snowflakes. So I'm going to set all three of these pieces aside here while we do our stamping. So I'm going back to this Avriel stamp set and I'm going to grab the little sledders and the ornament. And I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock to do my stamping. And I'm using the VersaFine Onyx Black ink pad. I've mounted these onto an acrylic block. This has little feet on it, so I can just kind of set it in place and then press down when I'm ready to do my stamping. So now that that's stamped, I'm going to stamp another a handful of these little uh, ornaments as well. So I did stamp six, but I only ended up using five. So now using my blender pen, the light carmine and the pink. These are from the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. I'm going to go ahead and color these in. Now I start with my lightest color, then I add my darker color, and then I use this blender pen to blend these together. And do, you do want to clean off your pen in between colors, or if you're getting too much ink on the pen, you can just clean it off on your scrap paper, and you'll know that it's clean when it goes clear. Now these are a water-based marker and they have a fine detailer tip on them. So they're very easy to get into these little tiny spaces. So I continue to color in the scarf the exact same way and the little pom-pom on the top of the hat. Now using the sugared almond pink, I'm gonna go ahead and do the little cheeks. And then with light green and deep green, I'm going to go ahead and do the hat and the scarf. 
And I'm just keeping the darkest color down towards the bottom and pulling it up towards the top of the hat. And I'm going to do the scarf the same way I did the pink portion of the scarf. So I finished up the scarf and now I'm going to do the little mittens in the same two pinks that we used on the scarf. And again, I'm kind of keeping that darker color at one end and then pulling it out towards the tip. And now with the mustard color, I'm going to go ahead and do the little feet on my penguin. And I'm adding that color down towards the bottom and then just pulling it up towards the top there. Now I'm using the black to do the little penguin and just putting a little bit right around the edges there and then kind of pulling it in towards the center. I want to keep it the lightest in the middle area. I'm going to do the same thing down here for his arms. I'm just kind of putting it near the base of his body and pulling it out. And then I'm going to use the light gray in the middle part of his tummy. Now with beige and mid brown, I'm going to do this toboggan. Again, starting with my lighter color and then adding the darker color. And here I just kind of want to go, just, I'm using little strokes, kind of pulling it down, lifting my pen, pulling it down, and then pulling it up towards that center there and keeping the center the lightest. And then down in here, I'm just adding a little, few little shadows here. And the same thing for the back and the middle portion here. Now with the turquoise green and the light blue, I'm going to do the scarf on the penguin. And I missed that little part of the toboggan there, so I went back to do that. Now with the gray brown, I'm going to color in my little bear. And I, I like to add the pink cheeks first, and then I kind of go around that, blending a little bit, but kind of just pulling the color into the cheeks. Now with the mid-brown and the light brown, I'm going to do the little headset on the penguin. With the light carmine, I'm going to do all of these ornaments the same color. I'm putting the color on each side and then I'm pulling it in towards the center. And then with my Jelly Roll Sparkle Pen, I'm going to do the little topper on the ornaments. And it's going to give it a glittery, silvery effect. And I'll show you that here in a second. And I think you can see that there. So now I've grabbed the coordinating dies. I'm going to go ahead and line these up and place them down with a little bit of purple tape. And then I'm going to run all of these items through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. And you can see how cute that is. I'm going to do the same thing here for the little ornaments. So now I'm going to the Lawn Fawn craft cardstock and I've cut a piece that's four and a quarter by 11 inches and I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard and I've placed, flipped that tab over so that I can use the scoreboard section. And then I've scored this at five and a half and I'm just folding this in half. And that's gonna be a top folding card. So now I want to go back to this burst frame and I'm just going to position it. Just want to uh, have an ev even amount of space on the top and the two sides. And I'm just going to tape that down for now. So now that's going to give me the position for my little snowy background. And I'm going to use my Gina K Connect glue to attach this to my card. 
So I've temporarily positioned that frame down and now I'm gonna glue this snowy background in place. And I also wanna do my little snow, um, the snow bank as well. So I'm just gonna try to figure out approximately where I want that snow to be. And I'm just marking that with a pencil here so I know where to cut this. And just using my scissors, I'm just gonna cut just kind of a random, randomly across there with a little bit of a curve. And then I'm just gonna erase those pencil marks and line that up where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down as well. And using the glue gives you a little bit of time here just to shift it around if you need to. So now I can go ahead and glue down my little critters here. And then I'm going to be able to easily remove this frame. I'm just placing an acrylic block there just to let that dry. And now I'm going to remove my frame. And I thought the card looked cute just, just like that without the frame as well. So if you're doing a lot of Christmas cards, that might be a cute way to go. But I decided to grab a little bit of cord here. And this is again from Lawn Fawn. And I'm using the Aquamarine hemp cord. And I'm going to have those ornaments kind of hanging down from the top of this frame. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Scotch foam mounting tape. And I'm going to place a little bit on the back of each of these ornaments. Now I'm also going to use some regular Scotch tape just to hold this in place. So I'm just wrapping it around the hemp cord around toward the, towards the back. Then I'm just going to position this on either side and I want to leave a little bit of give there because I kind of want it to hang down a little bit. So I'm going to just tape this in place on the back as well and then I'm going to cut away that excess. So you can see there I have a little bit of extra give there at the top. So now using my Scotch foam mounting tape, I'm going to go all the way around this frame. And that's going to pop this up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing. And then I'm going to center this right over that circle. And press this in place. So now I can add my little ornaments. So I'm going to remove the backing, but I do want that little cord to hang down. So I'm going to add a little tiny bit of that Gina K Connect glue right at the top of my ornaments. Then I'm going to pull that into place and hold that just for a second or two till that is uh, glued down properly. So now I'm going to do the same thing with all of the rest of these. And once you get that center one in place, it makes it really easy to do these others. Now for the sentiment, I want to use this banner. And this is from the dotted die set from Avery L. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it again out of that raspberry cardstock. So I went ahead and die cut, and then I'm going to use this sentiment that says, Bring on the Mary. Again, I'm using my EK Success Anti-Static Powder Tool and the same embossing powder that we used before, the Super Fine Detail White Embossing Powder. I'm inking it up with my Versamark ink pad, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. And I'm stamping it off to the right just a little bit because we're going to be adding a bow a little bit later on and I want to leave room for that. So now I'm going to place the embossing powder all over this again tapping off the excess and then I'm going to go ahead and heat that heat set that with my heat tool. And that's just going to emboss this. 
and you can see that up close. I'm just using a dry towel just to wipe away any of that excess powder that was left there from that anti-static powder tool. So now I want to pop up my banner and I'm going to use plenty of my foam mounting tape just to make sure that stands up nice. So I'm just trimming this down a little bit and then I'm going to have plenty of tape on the back of this banner. So I'm removing the backing from the tape and I'm going to line that up with that burst frame. Now I wanted to add a couple little bows. So this little section of bows is from the finished frames die set and you get all these cute little pieces in this set. And I'm going back to that sparkle cardstock and then I have three little sections of Bristol Smooth cardstock. So I'm going to die cut it once out of the sparkle and three times out of the Bristol Smooth. And then I'm just going to stack these up, keeping the glittery one on the top. And that's going to give us a nice thick embellishment here. So I have one for the sentiment and one for the little string of lights up at the top. I'm going back to my connect glue and I'm going to attach these little bows. Now I wanted to add a few little sparkly embellishments. So I'm using from Buttons Galore and More from the Sea Level Collection. These are the Sparkletts embellishments. And you get all kinds of pretty little gems in here. And I'm using my Marvy Jewel Picker just to pick these up. Just has a little sticky end on the, on the end so it makes it really easy to pick these little jewels up. And I'm just going to place one on each of the bows, in the center of each of the bows, and a couple down there uh, below the sentiment, just for a little bit of sparkle. And again, I'm going back and gluing those down. Now using my Jelly Roll white gel pen, I'm just going to add some highlights here. And I did decide to add some around the frame just to kind of give a little bit more movement to the frame there. And now using my Nouveau Crystal Glaze, I'm just going to add the glaze to each of these ornaments and that's going to give them a nice clear glossy effect. And I'm adding a little dot of it to each of their noses and you can see that there. So this is the finished card. I just think these little critters are so cute. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.